Welcome to the O'Connor Elder Law Channel. I'm your host, Melissa O'Connor. Today I wanted to talk to you about a probate disclaimer in the state of Florida. Um, I recently came across um, a unique matter in which a grandparent had raised their grandchild and the grandchild then returned the favor by caring for their grandparent as they were sick and ill and right before they passed away. The grandparent passed away without a will. There was no will in place, although the family members all understood that the grandparent wished to leave their inheritance to the grandchild, the grandchild that they raised and the grandchild that cared for them as they were dying. However, because that grandparent didn't leave a will outlining those wishes under Florida law, that grandchild was not likely to inherit much of anything. Um, so the family rallied together to come up with a method to make sure that this grandchild um, still inherited as the grandparent had wished. And they did this through use of a probate disclaimer. So essentially what you can do, what a person can do, if you are set in line to inherit something, for, um, you can disclaim that. You could say, I don't want that gift. Thank you, but no thank you. And, and um, fill out a, a issue paperwork that says I disclaim my interest in um, this estate so therefore um, when you do this one thing you may want to be cognizant of is who's next in line when you disclaim your interest in that estate who would it go to instead of you that might be something important to you um, so essentially what this family was able to do is several people completed a probate disclaimer disclaiming their interest which then provided for this grandchild to inherit um, from the grandparents' estate as the family believed was the grandparents' intent all along. Um, one of the things to keep in, mention, to keep in mind um, that I should mention with regards to probate disclaimers are that it must be irrevocable and unqualified. You can't um, disclaim with conditions. You can't say, uncondition that, blah, blah, no. It's just, I disclaim, no conditions, no strings attached. It must be in writing, and um, that writing must be delivered to the personal representative within nine months of later of the date of death, which is the date which the transfer creating the interest of the disclaimant was made, death, or the date on which the disclaimant turns 21 years of age. Um, so, and the disclaimant may, must, another thing to rem keep in mind is the disclaimant, you, the person, whoever the person is disclaiming their interest in the probate assets, um, must not have accepted the interest. You can't take it and then say, eh, I don't really like this, and then disclaim it. You have to disclaim your interest um, without having taken it. Um, so I hope that this, um, content was helpful to you that you understand that a probate disclaimer can be used and that it is used by families to facilitate loved one's wishes when the loved one may have not um, adequately uh, prepared for their death with everything in writing just so um, there is a mechanism to ensure that uh, that your loved one's wishes can be fulfilled as long as everybody is in agreement and um, the proper paperwork is filled out. Should you have any questions or concerns about probate disclaimers, I encourage you to reach out to a Florida probate attorney. Um, again, like and share this content with those who you think may benefit from it. Thank you.